This is a review of another model by Heavy Haul Replicas. It comes in an outer shipping carton. And if we take a look at the end, we see this is model number HHR129E-1. Do not use blades to open. OK, well, we will see about that. On the way bridge, it's nearly £1 or 1 ounces, also known as 475 grams. We carefully proceed not to use a blade. And what's actually being used here is a sharp fingernail. With the tape carefully cut, we can open the flaps and see what's inside. And out comes the Mac branded box. And if we check at the end, yes, it's the same model number. We could stop there and just review the box, but let's go a bit further and see what's inside. And it's no surprise to see a pair of expanded polystyrene trays and they are fully taped together. So once again, we're not using a blade to carefully cut the tape. Now we can carefully separate the two halves and there we see the model. And this particular Mack truck is in the colors of the US company Marinello. The model has some soft paper to protect it. And after the giant hand cranes have lifted it out, we can see there's a bag that contains some spare door mirrors, which is a nice touch and also a pointer device. Now there is a tape which is protecting some of the moving parts during shipping and we have to carefully cut them to remove them. Now be careful not to cut any parts of the model, but if you want to cut off the end of a finger, that's not so bad. There's no assembly, so the complete model goes onto the weighbridge and it's just over eight ounces. And that is 240 grams. The chassis is very detailed. There's a representation of the leaf springs at the front and you can see the underside of the engine and gearbox. The drive shaft and hoses run to the rear axles. And there we have some nicely modeled differentials. There are numerous mud flaps on the truck and they are of soft flexible material. The tires have got a decent tread pattern which seems to be the same front and rear. The front grille is a high point of detailing starting with the visor and the silver bulldog at the top and then there's the Mac name above the excellent grille and there's also the Marinello sign. Other details include what I guess is a fleet number and another high point is the rivets around the lights and there are excellent looking license plates. The mud flaps are Mac branded. There are thin windscreen wipers and a visor above. And the details on the roof are great, including the Mac name within the air horns. A particularly nice aspect is the very high quality of the graphics. And they reproduce the nice representation of the show truck. There are textured surfaces above the wheel arch. And there are very thin metal aerials. The door mirrors are chromed. As is the sharp looking exhaust stack. Another high point is the fuel tank with its inlaid textured steps. And although the tyres are not branded, they're mounted on detailed wheels. There's a beacon light bar and spotlights behind the cab. And some more excellent high quality decoration. Looking from this angle, you can also see that the exhaust stacks have grab rails. Detail inside the cab is hard to see, but it continues the same high standard. Moving to the back and the platform has a ladder underneath. And another example of the high quality decoration is the artwork along the edge of the deck. The top surface has nice texturing. And there are a set of lines with connectors for attachment to a trailer. The rear wheels are also high on detail. At the back there are lights and plain mud flaps. We start with the steering and it has a very good range of movement and only at the extreme does it touch the mud flaps. But for posing purposes it's absolutely fine. Moving to the rear axles and they have a floating suspension system and there's suspension on the front axle too and all the wheels spin freely enough. 
So out we go onto the Cranes Etc Superhighway and the Mac rolls fine in a straight line. If we set the steering to the maximum the front wheel doesn't turn because it touches the mud flap but ease it off slightly and you can get a decent steering angle. The suspension system across the axles is really good. Moving to the fifth wheel and it is fully functioning and it has a lever operated locking clip. You also have some adjustment of the longitudinal position. When you need to carry out a bit of engine servicing you can raise the hood. And on the Mac it's of a gullwing type. Looking underneath there is a detailed engine and the detailing is helped by having different coloured components. As we can see here the hood is staying open of its own accord but if it happens to be loose there is a way of dealing with that. Let's go round to the other side of the truck and again the hood also opens but both sides have a tiny strut that can be rotated into position and when that's done it locks the hood into an open position and it's a thoughtful touch. The cab doors are an excellent fit but they can be opened by gently pulling on the mirror and then using the tool. And you can see the opening angle is about 45 degrees. There is another working feature inside the cab and that is air ride seats which you can bounce up and down. Let's try out a trailer for the Mac and for this test we'll use a WSI trailer. This is a multi axle ballast carrier, so it's not really very realistic on an American truck like this. But at least we can check the compatibility of the Kingpin, and it is a fit into the fifth wheel of the Mac. However, the trailer does sit a little high at the Kingpin, so not all of the wheels are grounded. With the fifth wheel moved back, you can rotate the trailer, and it does that without any interference. So to complete things let's add a load and here we have some heavy crawler crane boom sections. This is another very high quality model from heavy haul replicas. As befits the show truck that it's modelling the quality of the decoration is of a very high standard and in fact all of the detailing and functionality is really good. This particular model it looks great in the colours of Marinello and overall it's good enough to be rated as excellent. Music 